Yeah, this is just a short video on how to get subsurface scattering working in Substance, which I don't think I have on at the moment. So I've got the skin selected here, the body. There's a few things we need to activate. First of all, we just gotta make sure we're using a material that allows you to see subsurface scattering. And this is the first thing that uh, we need. So alpha test, I believe, is the one we want. Um, I do get it confused between this and alpha blend, but I'm pretty sure alpha test is the subsurface scatter material. And then we're gonna go all the way down here and we just wanna click on enable subsurface scatter. So we're gonna enable it here. Um, I wouldn't play around with the scale so much. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we're just after the maps and we can play around with that in, um, in Maya. So one being 100%, zero being no subsurface, and then the grayscales being anywhere in between. Um, okay, and there's another place we need to activate it as well, and that's up here. And if we scroll down through this list, uh, there is activate subsurface scattering, this guy right here. Cool. Now, those are the first two things we need to do. Next thing we need to do is just make sure that subsurface scattering is turned on for the actual object. So under your texture set settings, scroll down through the list. And um, let's see here, scroll down through your list. I overshot, it's right here. And just make sure under channels that scattering is turned on. So I'm gonna click on that now. Oh, and you can see automatically it's kind of popped in now. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just control it through, obviously you can paint your, your scatter areas. So if I were to go in and um, uh, let's see, I don't even know what this layer is. I'll just create a new layer. So obviously you can do a fill layer just to add in a base for the subsurface scatter. So I'm just gonna only deal with the scatter here, uh, which is right here, right? Zero is off, one is on, and then you can have anything in between. So, you know, I'll just put in my, my base scatter, and if there's anything I want to maybe paint on top of that, I can go in and do that with this custom paint layer, right? So I can just go in and I can paint any other additional scatter options, um, provided I've got my paintbrush on. And let me do that again. Scatter. All right, so if I want a little bit more scatter here, or a scatter here, I can do that. Now, you know, at the end of the day, scatter should be an equal value, right? Because it's based off of the thickness of the skin. So uh, that's really what gives you the scattery effect. So, you know, ears are thinner, so more light passes through them, whereas cheeks are thicker because they have bone and all of the skull is under there. So, you know, light's not gonna pass through it as, as easily, but in terms of how much passes into the skin and bounces around, it's gonna be fairly consistent across. So I'd be careful with how you paint this. Um, to view the maps, you could also check out, um, you could also check out uh, Scatter right here, right? So this will show you what the map's actually gonna look like. So this is the, this is the base layer, right? So I can always tweak that if I want a bit more of a uniform scatter over everything. And then this is, you know, the, the layer I'm painting now. And, and basically, you know, we could, um, you can blur that and stuff like that, but okay. And then this is what we'd be exporting and go into your scatter color, your multi, uh, multi scatter in uh, Redshift. Cool. I'm gonna stop uh, the video right here, very simple. Okay, cheers, bye.